Welcome back. We've got another Cricut Design Space tutorial for you. We've got a nice sweet and short one today and we're going to dive straight into it. Let's go. So look at you go. You are really getting into the more advanced functions and bits and pieces of Cricut Design Space. And I am so proud of you. So, so proud of you for keeping up with this series of Cricut Design Space tutorials. And I know that that book that you've got in your hand, our beautiful Cricut Design Space tutorial style book is serving you really, really well when you need a refresher on all of these topics. We're looking at contouring today which is a lot more of an advanced thing that a lot of people never ever even really use in their life, but it is a super duper handy thing to know about. So first of all, let's go and find that image that they are talking about. So I'm going to pop in my hashtag. We're on page 42 of the book. So M10AC448 and C. Great. And here we go. So this is a beautiful card, right? But let's just assume for a minute that I don't really want it to say what it's saying. So currently it's saying, how do I need to want to make this a bit smaller so that you guys can see it. So currently my card is saying lots of love, but let's say I don't want to give it as a love card. Maybe I want to give it as a happy birthday card, or maybe I want to give it as a get better soon card. So you actually have the ability to change those pieces if you understand how contouring works. So let me make this bigger now that I've gotten rid of the rest of it. So contouring removes pieces that we don't want. So I can basically get rid of this lots of love out of my card, but keep this beautiful heart in place. And that's what we're going to have a look at. Okay, so what we need to do in order to be able to do that is to select the layer that we want to change. So let me just get rid of the rest of it, right? So I'm going to change this one and I'm going to click down here on contour. So now I have the ability to hide cut lines. I'm not actually deleting them, but I'm just hiding them from view. I'm sorry if you guys can hear the dog barking in the background, but it is what it is. So first of all, we're going to get this preview panel and then we're going to get all of these bits and pieces on the side that we would like to remove. Now you can either click on these pieces, see how it's gotten rid of the T over there, or you can actually click directly onto this thing as well. Whoop. Where am I? So whatever is easiest for you. Sometimes I just find it easier doing it this way. Where is the other letters? S O I don't know where that piece is, so I might just click on it here. There we go. O and E. So my computer is so slow today. Come on. There we go. I think I've gotten it all. Not sure if that E is highlighted or not. There we go. And then once you've done what you want to do, we can get back to the other screen. So click on that. And now you can see that my letters have disappeared and I have the ability to put some brand new letters there. So that's really, really exciting. So often this is very, very helpful if you're getting an image from Google and you want to turn it into a multi-layered design. So if I'm not too sure if I've got an upload or not ready to go, this is just off the top of my head thinking here. If for some reason I was going to do something with this, right? Right now it's just one image. And it will basically cut out the whole entire thing like this. But let's say I wanted to make my little um, cricket out of a dark green and I want to make the rest of this out of a light green. I've got two different ways of going about doing that. So first of all, I can grab a circle and I can simply just slice that piece out. So first of all, let me duplicate it because obviously I um, don't want to, I need to have the cricket as well, right? So I can, what's going on today? This thing is just playing around. So obviously we can just slice that bit out. I'm not too sure why it's been so painful. There we go. So I'm going to grab both. And I've grabbed three layers, which is why it's not working. So I'm going to grab that layer and that layer and click on slice. So we've got a full lesson on slicing if you need to go and check it out. And now I can delete this bit. And I can delete this bit, right? And now I'm left with just the words cricket. 
So I can now go and do my two different pieces in different colors and it will work just fine. If this was a much more complicated image though, that would have been really tricky to do and I would have had to slice it a few times. So in that case, it might have been easier for me to grab this image and to go and do some contouring on it instead in order to be able to remove those bits and pieces. So I can click on this and I can go to contour and I can remove this guy just from here, right? And get rid of him that way. I'm just, I think my thing's playing up at the moment. There we go, that's better. And get rid of those pieces over there and the two eyes. I think I've gotten it all, go away. And there we go. So now we also have the same result, but I had two different ways in which I could get there. So I hope that was helpful with contouring. I know I've gone over it fairly quickly, but really it's just an easy way to delete something because it's not like there's um, an easy way to fix this. Now, of course, if you are working with an image, there's also different other ways of doing this as well. You could simply just erase the bits that you don't want. So let's say I'm going to grab this one that my design team member designed and I want to work on this, right? First of all, I need to delete the white background. Now we've got a full tutorial on this later on as well. And from here, I can click on the erase button and I can actually erase these texts if I know that I would like to use different text, but I would like to keep Santa and my reindeer in place. So let's say I want to use different text to that. So I'm going to get rid of this. Beautiful. And now I also have a design where I remove text. So there's different ways of doing exactly the same thing um, and hopefully you can figure out at what point which one is the best. But when you have the designs from Cricut that's already been designed for you, contouring is the best and the easiest way to remove some of those cut lines. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you didn't get too confused with me going into different bits and pieces. Um, and remember that we do have full tutorials on everything. I've got a full tutorial on how to clean up images. I've got a full tutorial on um, slicing as well. So if I went a bit quick, make sure you go back and make sure you go forward and you go and check those out as well. All right, so that was page 42 in your Cricut Design Space book that you can have a look at and get your head around. And it's there for you in paper, in written format, if you ever need to come back to contouring. Um, remember that once you've seen something on video, it's not always necessary to find the video again. Sometimes it's just helpful to grab those steps in the book and you'll refresh your memory on what exactly you need to do. All right, last up we want to do in this section is the color sync. So I will hop into that straight away and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.